Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to potentially resolve any issues you might have regarding audio or speaker issues on your Windows 10 computer. So specifically if the audio is not coming out of your speakers right, or if you already know you have all your drivers up to date for your speakers, but you're still having issues getting your speakers either recognized by Windows, or it just does not sound right this tutorial is for you. So we're going to start by heading over to our start button and we're going to left click on it. Now we're going to type in troubleshooting. Should be listed right above the control panel entry so you want to left click on that. Then you want to left click on hardware and sound. Under sound up at the top we have two different options we could try and run a troubleshooting tool for either playing audio or recording audio we're going to select the first option which is playing audio so find and fix problems with playing sound so left click on that so then we will get a new dialog window will pop up so just select next so this will take a few moments to run it really shouldn't take more than 30 seconds a minute but just be patient and give it some time to run So it's recommending that we turn off sound effects and enhancements. So if I actually open that up, I can disable all the enhancements and click apply and OK. So that's one of the ways that Windows will try and assist you in figuring out what exactly is going on with your speakers. So then if you left click on next, it'll continue to scan to try and find if there's any more issues that might be coming up. So it's telling us that we couldn't identify the problem or perhaps the problem has already been solved. If you guys get further instructions on your screen, please just follow the prompts that Microsoft has laid out, and hopefully your speakers will be working again. One last thing, if that does not work for you guys, there's another thing you can try, and that would be to go back onto the Start menu and type in Device Manager. should be listed directly above the Control Panel, so you want to left-click on that. So the first option right below the desktop should be audio inputs and outputs. So left click on the little drop down arrow next to that. So we see we have a couple different inputs and outputs here. So speakers would definitely be considered an output. So if you right clicked on that and then left click on update driver software, you have the ability to search automatically for updated driver software online. And you could also manually install the driver through the second option. We're going to search automatically online, so we're going to select the first option. You can also take note of exactly what your speaker input is called, if it has a name, and then you can manually go online to try and find updated drivers. If, in our case, Windows has already determined the driver software to be up to date, this is not always accurate, so I would highly suggest you guys go online and check out your manufacturer's website. And if you have any other instructional material that came with the purchase of your speakers, if, you, if they're not built into your computer, um, I would definitely recommend taking a look at that. So hopefully one of those two options work for you. I would highly recommend restarting your computer in between both times just to see if it takes effect. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.